What do you need? You. I mean, <clears throat> welcome back to my full playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3, a game that is essentially the perfect Dungeons & Dragons campaign, but as a video game. In this one, I'll be exploring and tying up some loose ends in Act 1, getting to know my companions a bit and finding out the truth about Gale. Wanting to do a bit of a catch-up episode before going into the Underdark and starting the next act of our playthrough. I'm really glad I did this because I found a lot of really cool things and nice moments, so hopefully you'll enjoy this little compilation of my last sweep of the Act 1 one area. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe so YouTube knows you want to see more of this series and check me out on Instagram and TikTok if you want me to recommend you indie games to play. Let's go ahead and continue with Baldur's Gate 3. What do you need? You? I mean, <clears throat> you seemed intrigued when Halson mentioned the Dark Justicias before. I was. He mentioned Dark Justicias and we've come across other signs of a Sharon presence during our travels. I'm not sure I can dismiss that as a coincidence. Do you know what's also not a coincidence? Is, look at us kind of dressing the same now. Like, isn't that funny how I'm kind of dressed like you now? I don't know if you've noticed that, but you and I share something special. Very serious of you. But go ahead. Mm-hmm. Um, admit it, you've never had a relationship like this one, have you? Even if I could remember, I'm not sure I'd tell you. I don't want your ego to get overinflated. Too late. I feel like you'd look pretty good in this outfit, too. Just saying. Oh, hey, baby. Uh, I did miss that face, you know. Oh, you. So, you know, tell me about your history and stuff. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? All right, Moody. I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. The mood change. Um, what do you think of that deal? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. Mm. If I lose the tadpole, oh. Zador has control of me, body and soul, and I return to the shadow. Oh, it's the tadpole that is. It's grim either way. Stopping him so from being not under sell control. What's left of my soul to a I see. I'd forgotten that. Better he has it than Casador. Okay, it's understandable. I understand the appeal. I'm glad to hear it. <gasps> Albert. Food oh. hungry. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Oh my god, I literally thought so many people have commented on my videos about the Albert, about how to get it, saying it never showed up for them and I had thought that you weren't going to show up in my playthrough. Oh, I'm so excited. I have food. Go ahead, eat. Baby. Eat more. Look at you, standing up, you're like poo. Careful. Winnie the Winnie. Once that thing's eaten through the camp, it might start looking at you hungrily. No, run! Oh, Shadowheart. I'm not chasing after it, if that's what you're thinking. Do you not love animals, Shadowheart? That might be a deal breaker, honestly. Hmm. Hey, Scratch. The dog wags his tail. What's that? A small bag clenched between his teeth. What you got there, boy? Extend apart, wait expectantly. Okay. Ooh! Critical success. So good with animals. Thank you, boy. He gives in and surrenders his find to you. Pet. Sorry for not having animal speech on. Rolls out happily. 
his tail wagging even faster. Stepping over the dead bodies of gnomes, they continue on their quest. Looking to explore this area thoroughly before heading to Moonrise Tower. I'm guessing the curse isn't lifted because I didn't kill her, but let me just try talking to this frog. There's a chest over there. Oh, she. Oh! There you go. Glad I could help. Happy! Happy! Come! Present! Okay. Where is the present? Is it the chest that I already spotted? No. Keep him going. Frog friend. Alright. Little frog friend. What you got? Something. Hmm. Scroll of frost, scroll of charm person, and a little bit of gold. Here! Shiny! Bye! Cute. Apples on a tree. Okay, back in the tunnel. I want to see if we can help Marina, and if anything that we've done with the hag being gone, like it was with the frog, if it's helped these people. Use, um, speak with dead. The looks regards amazing. you lifelessly. Why did you go to the hag? My family took her. My baby girl. Pretending she never existed. Told Ethel. Never wanted to see them again. She took my eyes. Wow. Why did your family take the child? They didn't. Something they couldn't touch. Anything I should know about this place? Okay, rest now. What a cool power. What about that guy that was over here? Is he gone? <gasps> He's not freaking out anymore. The hat gone. God, tell me she's gone. You're safe now. Oh, please. It literally says you're safe now. Of course it does. May she burn in the nine hells. The things she did. The things she made me do. Vile. Disgusting. Good gods. You. You're the one. The mind flame. Well, not if I can help it, but can you still see it? No. The hag's gift is gone, but it's it's going to happen. Soon. I saw you screaming, covered in your own insides, as that, that thing bursts out of your skull. You change, skin ripping from your body, and then you butcher everyone. Everyone around you. Well, be specific. I, I don't know. Could be a ten day. Could be any moment. I can't do this. You're too dangerous. I'm. I'm sorry. Where are you going, buddy? You know it's. Yeah, it's that way. Okay. What about these ones that we knocked out? Did they... survive? They're dead. After all that effort I made, a faded note. 
Read this every morning. Remember, she's not your friend. She's not your family. Do not eat the food unless she's watching. Do not drink the tea unless she is watching. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. The word lies. Just a heavy stone. So I think I missed this. The bitter divorce. The wand. Let's see if she's still there. If I can use this now. There she is. Still whimpering away. Gotta save it in case I make a bad decision. Okay. I can't believe it didn't work. That all of this was for nothing. Well, I found a wand. What? You can. God, it's you huge. Feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back. Uh, Bring Connor back. Please. Well, here's the thing. Everything that the witch has done so far, she's like a genie, right? Like, you know, she said she doesn't want to see them again. And then it took her eyes. We don't know what this is going to do. Do it anyway. zombie you feel something pull at you the creature yearns for a master what have you done to him the creature is bound to the wand how useful the hag fulfills her promise it can never be simple How useful. He's not a creature. He's my husband. I wanted him back. Back the way he was. Not this. Well, I'll take him off your hands. Kill the abomination. We can always bury him again. Don't worry. I have the wand. I'll make use of him. I didn't curse him. You're welcome. All right. You work for me now, do you? How do I, uh... Do I have to have this equipped? I'm guessing this summons you, right? Is that what it is? Are you just gonna, like, chill there? Are you gonna follow me? Alright. Onward. It's me. Let me in. Shaken, Mosh. Hang on while I find the key. Little inspiration for, sh for the shard of the Starion. You're dead. Surprise. Well then, who's in here? Just you, eh? What do you say? You come a little closer. to do much other than just absolutely smash you here. Let's be honest, mate. It's 
Somehow he survived that. Ready. Not this. Key, some armor. Can someone else pick this stuff up? I'm carrying so much, honestly. Thank Let's get you. Going. Time to press ahead. What's hiding here? What else have you got? Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Who's this? <gasps> Portrait of Fane! Fane. One of my favourites from Divinity 2. Oh, I, okay, so these are like, must be collectibles. We have the Sibyl one as well. And now we have one of Fane. I need to find one of Losa. That's cool. Excruciatingly precise lines bring this portrait's undead subject to life. His empty eye sockets, you could almost swear his gaze follows you judgmentally. Fane is amazing. If you play Divinity 2, make sure you play as Fane and Losa. They're the best. So, the guy gave me a reward for being here. He said, where the wolf grows brightest, glows brightest, put the rune in. And then it will... Oh wait, rune of the wolf. Ah, in the empty socket. Aha. With the rune he just gave me. And he said it'll open the vault. And then I'll have access to all of their treasure. to 12. Okay. Give it to Shadowheart, I guess. Robe of Summer. Resistance to cold damage. And a jade. Let's see what that looks like on you, Astarian. Calm down. Uh, new robe. Ooh. Pretty. Hmm. Need to get some black dye for you, though. Never a dull moment. It's more you than just the plain red one, isn't it? Have to keep going. Secret societies of the Sword Coast. Shadow Druids. The Dark Justicias. Shadow to inscribe their name upon the purity of this page. I'll leave it at this. They worship Shah. Wow, people really like look down on those. A Druid note. Or Shadow Heart. The Emerald Enclave won't send help, even if I ask. The land is wounded and the rot is deep. It's deep everywhere. I can't wait for help to come. That was it? That's all that's in here? Something good here, I hope. Just a weapon. Better than nothing, innit? Out we go. I'll give it a shot. Okay, so I just found I could jump and climb up here. You have to jump from here, and then you can climb up, and we're seeing what's up here, so I'm just starting recording in case anything happens, because it's the last sort of black area on this first map. All right, what now? Trying to catch everything. There's a ladder there, but what's over here? Maybe something to dig up. Feels like a diggable area, no? Okay. What's up here? Have Other than an amazing view, I'm place. sure. Mm. A camp. Mm. And a skeleton. A silver pendant that gives guidance. This has a harper sigil. Why were they here? A harper. Parts of the ship. A rocky crevice. A 
At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Attune yourself to the spider's natural rhythm. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt. A spider egg is nestled within. Speak softly to the spiders. Save it, just in case. Yes. Hello, little spider. Your voice draws their attention. They are suspicious, then curious. And finally, at peace, one by one, the spiders retreat to the rear of the crevice, lulled by your murmurs. Reach for the bag. You stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. What is it? Sticky fingers, Karlak is inspired. Excuse me, can you... Pouch. A spider egg. Something or some things wriggle within the sticky shell. Can I open it somehow? And some gold. I can't use that right now, apparently. Take all. Spider egg sack. Hmm. Such a weird little questy moment just for 13 gold and a spider egg. I'm not sure what could happen there. Oh, this place is covered in cobwebs. Creepy. Looks like that's all there is to it up here. Just making sure I find everything. Back down we go. I can cast Speak with the Dead on the ones that were rotting away in here. Bob seems willing to speak. Ah. But not to it. Okay, I have to disguise myself. Because I killed it. Where is my shapeshifter mask? Oh, I could just cast an illusion spell, couldn't I? As well. I'll be a little gnome. Actually, no. I'll be... Femdrow. Look at me. Corpse can no longer speak. You can only do it once. When did I last save? Oh, back at the spiders. God damn it. Okay, let me talk to her instead. That's who we're most interested in anyway. Oh, maybe someone else can do it actually if I give them the thing. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Killed you. What were you doing in the barn? Grogor. By me, boy. We die, break. Together. Well, no, I feel bad. I tried not to, you know. Were you guys in love? No. Oh. I didn't try and kill them. Like, I interrupted them and they got angry and then tried to kill me. Did you have any valuables there? I've nothing looking for weapons. Probably for the absolute, right? Who killed you? I just want to see what they say about me. Someone interrupt. Someone 
I didn't draw the fight. You did. What weapon are you looking for? From Crash, okay. The spells pat Anyway, that's where it was from. Let's get going. Somewhere we haven't been. That's the symbol of the absolute. Marked in blood. So there could be something around here. Knolls. Probably the same ones that killed Scratch's owner. Let's sneak up on them. A path lies before me. They're attacking someone. And marking the wall with the blood. With a shock of psychic pain, the pack leader's mind clamps onto yours. You see yourself through her eyes, a pulsing red cluster of organs. Feast! No, the voice has forbidden this meat. Noll see your whole world as a meal. This voice is acting as a leash, but it won't hold them for long. Divert her attention to the cave. Perhaps there's more meat inside. Search her mind for the source of the voice. Withdraw from her mind. Search her mind. A memory. The beast daubs the symbol of the absolute on a cave wall in blood. Buried deep, a tadpole struggles to assert control against the ravenous chaos of her mind. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Hmm. Focus on the tadpole. Explore her memories. Seek a nearby target for hunger. You are the same pack. Command her to devour the other gnolls. Do it. Sensing your presence, the gnolls tadpole writhes in ecstasy, echoing your command. Its host will feast on gnoll flesh to control the hunger, to keep her teeth from your throat. Your blood runs quicker, feeding the gnawing absence at the center of your mind. You work for us now. I want to try and conjure up that zombie. Oh, acid. Ah, oh, it's the missing shipment that's in there. Someone's fighting the gnolls. Okay. We should help. Don't be a fool, lad. Shut your mouth and keep your head down. Leave the heroics to them that don't value their own skin. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Wow, the one that's on our side has uh, 85 health. Good thing we got them. We're getting pretty burnt up here. My turn. Looks like I'm going to have to come meet you. I'm glad Sonic the Hedgehog is soaking up some damage for us here. Shadow Heart. just need it on me really don't I do I have a potion no I need to split those out let's uh, move you up a little bit shall we get out of the acid let's stick a guiding bolt on someone hopefully might kill them miss not at all Starion, get out of the acid. 
Let's go ahead and grease these three. Glad there was some fire there, because that was going to be my next step. And... Yeah, that'll do for now. Still breathing, despite everything. Moi. Let's uh, move up a little bit. Actually, throw my growths down, my spikes. Use AOE on this fight a bunch. Don't waste a step. Shillelagh. Good to go. Oh, got a little spider. I forgot about you. Oh. There goes Incy Wincy. Nice. Carlac's new weapon, the Sword of Justice. Visible, it's trying to sense me. Dice roll. Saw me, okay. Bum, 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 bum. Did I not switch your sword out? Ah. No, you're still using this one. Sorry, I gave it to Carl. That's right. Okay. Let's heal. Burning Radiance. Yes. Double kill for Starion. Very nice. Stay where you are. Nothing important is ever easy. Maybe I should try my Illithid power. <gasps> what? That looks amazing! Oh my god. Do that again. That is so cool. I wish I could get closer. Look. And with the mind flare behind me. Oh. Oh my god. That's so cool. Amazing. Carlac could go up that way if I knew you were there. Damn. Dash. Find a route. Okay. Anything to throw? No. battling it out. I'm gonna try and keep my distance. For the Can I hit you from here? I'm gonna use magic missile. Good job. They like homing missiles and they don't miss. Perfect. Actually super useful. I wonder if this is worth the cost. She is still ravenous, her mind a hungry pit. 
The flesh of her pack wasn't enough to satisfy her. Dominate her mind. Command her to feast on herself. Exert mental power. Command her to leave. Sever the connection. Prepare to fight. Feast on yourself. Her tadpole responds, thrashing violently, and the fragile tissue of her brain tears and splits. You taste the blood in her throat, feel it pooling in the cavity of her skull. But she still resists. Harness your willpower and order her to devour herself. Add a little bonus. Oh! 20. Your tadpole wriggles, contented. As she tears out her own throat. Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. By the gods. You're a sweet sight. Excuse Are me. any of my crew still alive out there? Ah, it's a grim sight. This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Knolls, goblins, drow. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. Um, well, that's a long way from here. Where are you heading? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Where's that? Joaquin's Rest. It's just up the road. I'd be enjoying a mug of ale right now if those beasts hadn't jumped us. Listen. You look like you know how to handle yourself. You should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Tell the fellow on the door. Little serpent, long shadow. Hmm. He'll take good care of you. At a tavern? I haven't been to the tavern yet. Words don't pay, coin does. Detect thoughts. Of course, it's Karlak with minus one. Stop picking through my brain! Chill. What? Uh. What the hell? We just saved you, man. Uh. Well, you know what? Quickly. You already gave me the password to your little secret club, so... Go ahead and burn. No choice but to keep going. Honestly, after using that illithid power, I'm like... Okay, like, all in on munching some tadpoles and getting more of those. That was so cool. Seduced by the dark side. On my way. Absolutely. Take care. You silly little man. What a sad little life, eh? What's it gonna take? Oh. I slipped. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Well, okay. Moving. Misses. Ow. Ow. Dude. Magic missile. Or I could cloud of daggers on him. Which will do what? How much? 4 to 16? And these do 6 to 15 with 2 to 5 each. Hmm. Let us 
drop the daggers, I think. To the death. Got him. And as for you... This way. Behold the dance of death. Only one thing for it. Take care of Let's go to the fire, baby. Sorry? Good job, good job. Have stayed interesting. Take all of those shipments, thank you very, very much. Hit a little short Don't rest for everyone. If not over, then through. <clears throat> yoink, yoink, yoink. <sighs> Let me guess. Doesn't want to speak to his killer. Wow, that cloud of daggers absolutely busted me up. Starion, get rid of it. Disguise myself. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Where are you headed? How do I find the hideout? Wizard Shipman. Okay. Did I loot everyone? What's inside? Ah, yeah, I didn't even pick up the thing yet. The specimen. And a flail. Two more powers to be had. Oh, someone had a lot of sausages in their pocket. See what you have to say for yourself. Where are you headed? Who are you? Holly, Zandrum, agent, hide out beneath chest, lock ambush. No. All right. Need a 20 to open it? Oh, it's a tough one. Try again. Nice. Fire Amber, Iron Flask, a glowing flask. A flask that can hold friends and foes, likely to make the former the latter. Can hold them. What's next? Can't give up now. How much farther can I go? Trust no one. Iron Flask. 
associated with oh. a grinning face, this cold iron flask is sealed with a brass stopper. Return the flask to your pack. I don't want you to do it. Send it to me. Let me take a look. All's well that ends. After I save Not it. Not as bad as it could have. The flask is cold and heavy in your hand. Wait, let me do this where there's good light. We're in a cave. I want to be able to like see myself with more cool. Ready. Just hop out here a second. Lighting is everything, darling. The flask is Much cold better. and heavy in your hand. Investigate. Disguised among the decorative elements, you notice a familiar arcane engraving. This is a powerful magical item, capable of trapping and holding a creature. Pokemon. The sealed stopper suggests it is inhabited. Let's find out who's inside. The flask is cold and heavy in your hand. Remove the stopper. The flask shudders in your hand, then magical energy emanates from its neck as a creature emerges. A genie? Not a genie! Not a genie! Oh my god, that gave me, gave me chills! A spectator! Oh. My. God. That looks insane. <gasps> Look at it. Bloody Aya Sauron in there. I'm going to keep you in there until I decide to let you out somewhere, I think. I'm going to keep that one in my back pocket until the time is right. Come back to the toll house that we avenged with Karlak. Or avenged Karlak with, I should say. Because I remember this door down here, and there was like all of these mystical sounds going on on the other side of it. Let's see what this does. This one. Hang on. You glowing? Maybe we can. Maybe you'll tell us how to get in. Because we couldn't find a key. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Uh, why were you in the basement? I didn't. I didn't. Were you alone when you died? Gods abandoned me and friends. Who are you? Toll Collector Merton. How did you die? Goblins laughing, cutting. That was the point in this conversation. The vault door, and it can't be lockpicked. What about this guy? Another toll collector. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Got any valuables? Gold. Basement. Locked. Okay. How do I get in? Where's the key? I fell. Dropped key. Dropped key. Right. It's with these long pauses. Where were you heading? Anywhere. Away. You dropped the key. Right. You wander around holding alt then and see if it shows up. Murgra. Oh. Bet that will fit in my pack. Got a key. Where is it? There it is. Wow, that's like... So crazy that the key for that room is all the way out here. I guess if you're paying attention, you'd find it when you get Karlak. Finally. That looks like a... Vent, right? Trapped. 
Don't worry, darling, I've got this. No problem. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. And again, baby. Oh! Get that 20. Something over there. Oh! 7, 7, 8, 9, 10. Still got it. What's that? I want to... I don't want chicken eggs. I want to disable all the vents before I do and touch anything. Because that's got... It just smacks of something terrible is going to occur in there. Ah, I don't even need that guidance, but it's fine. I just didn't want to flop on the last one. Good. Right, and then you detected something here, didn't you? Move that bottle off. What is it? A burrow hole. That thing is tiny, and I am not. A burrow hole. No time to rest. Can I fit in a burrow hole if I turn into something? Nothing in there. Traveler's chest. A silk gland. I'm guessing. I'll give it a shot. Oh, that gate's open. Okay. Well, let me try this burrow first. I'll catch a break. I am not entirely sure it's going to work, but... What would go in there? A badger? Can burrow into the ground? Right? More than a cat down a hole? That's a bloody big badger. Well, you're not going to fit in there, are you? <laughs> oh, you're cute, but... Yeah, the badger's looking at it like, oh, you're insane. Burrow hole. Burrow. Nah, ain't gonna work, is it? Right. Let me just save it now that we're actually in here and got keys and stuff. I can't go into anything smaller. I can't imagine a cat's gonna go through here. Can't be like a rat or anything. This is as small as I can get. Oh, I can burrow. Comes out on the risen road amongst a body. Wait, what? Hang on. How did I burrow a hole? So it's just a di a different way in. Because I'm just behind the toll thing. Okay, so if you find that. It's a way to get in without finding the key. Huh. That's cool. I like how there's so many different ways that things can happen. Alright, come on, everyone. Come on. Everyone group up and Astarian, go do that. Looks like a trap there. Filled with traps, this place. Yeah. And that one. Oh dear. Might have wanted the guidance there. Um. Just emitted a little something, but not really. So, what's going on? With your rolls. Did I just accidentally use an inspiration? I meant to just click the other thing. Oh well. And only just got it on a 10. Bloody hell. Best avoid that trap. Uh, no. Don't just step on it. I don't even know how these are triggered, but if I disarm them, at least we're not in trouble. Twenty-three. Last one, surely. 
No one detected it. Really? No one... So I can't even disarm that one? After everything? Okay. A row of books. Bookshelves are so exciting in Divinity because that's how you learn new spells and skills. So you're always looking on bookshelves like hoping you find a new spell. A bronze ingot. So where's the gold at? We were told it by a dead body. I don't think they can lie. Everything's rotten in here. Just click. What's clicking? Is that the trap? Click also. Shield. Nothing with alt. Oh, wait. Did I miss one? What did you... What did you... Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Turned around. She's like she's been to the Nickelodeon Awards. Um, <laughs> maybe if they click. Oh my god, she's done it again. I'm sorry. That was my fault. Maybe if we... Um, hang on. Sorry, darling. Still breathing, despite everything. Click them both. That makes sense. Do we have to stay sitting? Maybe Carla like Oh, careful. Stop. Oh, we do have to stay sitting. Okay, you sit. And then Astarian. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Damn, it's good to be alive. You'll deal with the... Trap. La, la, la. You will chill there. Save it in case we mess up. Is that blood? Babe, sit down. No, never mind. Well, hello. Okay. Can you disarm that, please? Swing. Oh. Goodness me. Even with all of those, we only still just made it. Well, that was lucky, wasn't it? Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Well, I don't think we need to disarm those now if I did the other ones, right? Gold. One step at a time. The vault. What's that? Is that gold too? Fine now. Well, we'll share it, Astarian, actually. It's a family pot for everyone, okay? <gasps> gloves of heroism. Metallic gloves. A studded shield. A studded shield. A great sword. A helmet. A candle. I wonder. A pleasurable deal. An excerpt from a play, A Pleasurable Deal, banned in no fewer than four cities for its lewd content. Its scandalous nature led to a number of widely distributed and illicit printings. Come here, fair folk, a tale now lost to time. In grief, this man well sunk to depth sublime. A gift he sought to win his lady's heart. Our Cambion smiled, for now the game did start. Enter Robert, male tiefling, crying. Carlyle, stage right, flash of smoke. Weep not, young man, though free your wife has fled. And comfort found in comrade's arms and bed. She licks her lips and cries his name. Oh my. And now seek you to be the apple of her eye? Robert. How does a stranger know such things, I ask? Carlyle. I watch you from the shadows and I see your shame and grief for nature's malady. You seek to win your lady and her bed, to have your name upon her lips instead. Robert. You know my curse and pain, my grief. My woe, Carlyle, of you I know, you seek a larger hoe, to plough fair maid, and sow a seed to grow. But lack do ye a mighty horn and mast, with which to guide a maid to bed and fast. I mean, I'd read the whole thing. <laughs> and 
it would only be on patreon.com slash down to sleep where I read all of the exclusive books on my podcast of bedtime stories. They're not naughty though, but um, I mean, some of them are like a little saucy. Picture of Dorian Gray's got a little bit of sauce to it. Twilight's got a little bit of sauce to it. Um, but I wouldn't want to falsely advertise that it's something that's not. It's actual books. Boink, boing. Oh, a great, a green great axe. I mean, I'll take everything from here. We'll sell it all. No, no, now I just want to play Skyrim and like read the books. Maybe I should do a Skyrim playthrough. Let me know in a comment if I should. I've been thinking about it for a while. I've never finished it, so I would like to actually like... Let's get going. Do one and do the whole thing, maybe. Like, now that I've sort of whipped the seal off on like big... Um, RPG playthroughs, I mean, why not, right? Alright, let's get out of this place. An okay haul. I'm not sure if any of that was really worth, apart from the book maybe, worth um, <laughs> the effort that it took to get in there, but it's fine. I think we'll come out here and do a long rest, because it's been a long session. We're all pretty low health and suffering. We have plenty of supplies. There's no reason not to head back. And sometimes story things happen in camp too. So you never know. Looks like Astarian wants a conversation. Here's my little treat with their cheeks all flushed. You will come to my bed tonight, won't you? Literally looking over my drink while sucking a straw. <laughs> like, start toiling my hair in a minute. Um, listen, is Shadowheart gonna get jealous? Cause like I want to explore things with you, Astarian, but as long as you know that my heart belongs to another darling. Very presumptuous, or a little treat. You can do better than that. Oh. I certainly can. It would be my pleasure. Hmm. How about this one? When I'm with you, I feel practically alive. Yet I crave only to die again. With you. Little treat was better, to be honest. But, um... Keep going. Hmm. Let me give it another go. Every part of your perfect body whispers temptation. It's as if the gods made you just to ruin me. It's a good line, but, like, he needs to deliver it closer, you know? It's not a play, Astarian. You need to tell me. Every part of your perfect body whispers temptation. It's as if the gods made you just to ruin me. Available for coaching. Um, you're sweet and sillier than I thought. <laughs> I can go all night with the flattery. But is that really all you want? I mean, that and then How some. How about if I said these little words? Everyone's favorite. I'm listening. I love you. Oh. Starion. Um, you'd be lying. <laughs> but rather beautiful lie, nonetheless. Now, as much as I relish standing around and saying all my favorite lines at you, I'd much rather we got to experience each other's uh, full portfolio of talents once again. I mean, touche, because I was picking on him a little bit, and then he dropped that, and I was a bit like, oh. <laughs> Listen, I'll come find you after everyone's asleep. I'll be waiting. Try and tone it down a little bit, Asarian, okay? Like, I would like to leave this next one in the video if I can, without getting age-restricted, alright? Jeez. Oh, hey, you're still here. Speak. Ah, no. I don't think 
I will. Dot gif. Um, I better go explain myself to Shadowheart, I guess. Hi, Scratch. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I am. Come here, you. Forever covered in blood. Forever covered in blood. And I've got a white dog. It's the perfect combo. Hi, darling. Hi. I was hoping you'd come to chat. Yeah. What do you need? Doesn't look like we have if any. You're sure. No. Sorry. No. Stay with me. I clicked the wrong thing. I didn't, didn't, well, didn't mean to tell you to leave. Stay with me. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sweetheart. Sorry. Um. All right. Well, I mean, she seems chill with it. I guess I'll go to sleep. I hoped you would come. <laughs> I have missed you. And now you're all mine. And I'm all yours. Until morning, at least. Let's see where the night takes us. Oh, we just, like, spent the night together. It wasn't a, um... A special scene. We just... Don't stop. Mm -hmm. Left to the imagination. All right. Well, let's get on the road then. Onward, gang. What do we still have to do here? What's still knocking around? Going through the Underdark? Something in the tea house still. What's in the tea house? Goblin camp. Travel through the mountains. I think, unless we're exploring more, we might be good. Oh, wait. I wanted to find the tavern, didn't I? Travel to the past, travel to the Underdark, find a cure to remove the parasite. Embrace potential. Find out about the artifact. The urge. Um, where is this guy that I'm supposed to see? Follow your butler, you can trust him. Find the night song, that's in the Underdark. So that's where we're going next, I think. But where on the map is... They said they were going to a tavern. I'm going to assume it's in this dark area. Oh wait, this is literally where I am, so we'll just run around there. With the password. For the men we killed. Looks like we can climb up and over here. Follow me, gang. How you feel when you go up two steps at a time? Come on. Astarian, why are you wearing that? Someone there. Babe. Get dressed. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Do we want a shadow heart like that? Or can have her appear to wear her camp clothing. Ah, she looks pretty cool like that, honestly. She looks like something out of Conan or something. At least things have stayed interesting. Okay, so around here is still biked out, so maybe this is where the tavern is. If we sweep around here. Hello, what's this? Save. What a cute little... Oh, it's... Wait, is this just the blighted village? Smoke. Something's burning. No, this is where we were going. I was about to say how cute it looks. Are they being attacked? Wow. Place is burning. I need a quick word. He of the unsleeping eyes. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. Um, what the hell's happened here? A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, just leave me be. Hmm. Leave, I guess. 
You guys need some help? Oh, we can help. Someone needs help. We can do rain and stuff. Come on, team. Nice. Inside, hurry. We don't have much time. So proud of myself. following you. Everyone coming with. There's water barrels there we can use. The heat coming off of that door. Opening it could spell trouble. Which door? I'm trapped. Are you tra you're trapped in there? up start what's up everyone's getting smoke inhalation we're blinded stop wasting time all right we well, all the ones just standing there <sighs> opening this door could spell trouble because the heat um. oh backdraft I'm not sure how I would have got away with opening it. Alright, Astarian. I wonder if I could use my ice, actually. Come on. Drop some water in here. What to do? Light on my feet. Rescue the trapped man. Need more. Gel, gel, gel. Ice. Oh. Where are you? Are you dead? Uh. We're burning. into that one. I think he died. This is crazy. Is there any loot in here? <laughs> yeah, how are you expecting us to get through there? Think you can take me on. What are you waiting for? Come. I'm afraid Papa thanks Mr. Wait. The ready. Case file. Baldur's Gate, Flynn Silver, Master Silver did with forethought without malice, kill William Lister and Simon Simi Trint. Guilty death. Banishment. Sold. I mean, we can maintain for another few minutes here and get the loot. Nothing. Play something uh, exclusive in here, you know? Stay alive, team. Stop setting yourselves on fire. No loot. Can you take you? Did the guy in there die? When it said rescue the man. Rescue the trapped man. Oh he died. Alright, okay. <laughs> I tried. At last. Your boldness is a blessing. I'm in your debt. Counselor, are you alright? Takes more than mere fire to break me, Eva. Now listen close, Fist. Duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Gauntlet, 
Report to the manor and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Counselor. The rest of you, count the dead. Take word of their sacrifice to this city. And you, I must ask again for your aid. Please, rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. The Council will reward you for your effort. May I trust you'll see it through? Oh, another side mission. Hmm. The Absolute Cults is at Moonrise Towers. That's where they've taken him. Moonrise Towers? Along the old road? That place is cursed. Few could survive there, unless darker forces... They love work. wearing purple this no in this world, attack. don't they? The Grand Duke was their target. Well, I'm headed that way anyway, so... I'll head west and find him. Thank you. And should your courage falter, remember the Duke's generosity. Karlak approves. Approach the towers with care. The land itself has been swallowed in shadow. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. Fist to work. Reward. The Grand Duke was captured and uh, taken westwards. Choose a reward. The sparkly points. A rare... Sparky points, sorry. Trident, is that? Okay. The Jolt Shooter. A bow. Finally a bow for a Starion, or not a crossbow. Or the Spell Sparkler. Quarterstaff. I mean, my quarterstaff is better. And I think the others have better weapons, so maybe we just grab this bow for um, a Starion. Darling, I got you a gift for last night. You were so good. Here you go. Oh, thank you, darling. I'll equip it straight away. Look at me, all sparky, and it looks good on my back. No one stopped me yet. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Allow us peace in this plane and beyond. Teach us care when we would be reckless. Teach us certainty when we would have doubt. Do 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 do. What's up there? Oh, dead people. A lot of dead people around, actually. There many loot. Faded drow armor. Yeah, what an ugly goblin. I have something to ask. I promise my shield and my sword, vigilant one. Let them be my courage. Oh, I thought you were going to be special since you're still here hanging around, but apparently not. Something good here, I hope. Don't know if I can be bothered collecting all this gold. Ten at a time. My pockets overflow. Well, another quest to be had. I think the only other thing we had here was Karlak's blacksmith is somewhere around here, I think. Maybe back in the grove? I honestly don't really know where that guy is. I'm pretty sure that was the place where the guys said there was a tavern and gave us the password and everything, but I mean, I guess that's useless now, isn't it? Look at that beast. Beast. Seems almost too big to take flight. A beast. There's a dragon. It would be too much to hope that's nothing to do with us, wouldn't it? I can't. Why can't I look up and see it? You go a lifetime without seeing one. And then they won't stop pestering you. Why can't, why can't, I'm still going a lifetime without seeing it. Ridiculous. Who's this? What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Magresham! Hmm, what's the matter? What? Apart from the dragon? Look. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. I doubt a fight against them would go your way. Who are you? Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. Seems you've got good survival instincts. Maybe you should join me. If you get a haircut, we obviously can't both have the same haircut. What? Just follow you around? I go my own way. Alone. Rag. 
That's it. I'm getting out of here. We'll see about that. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Oh, there it is. Wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. Mm. I hate to be negative, but those gifts will carve you up like a goose. We should have had Lazel with us. To see it. Where does this bridge go? Speak to the leader of the patrol to find the crash. I mean, maybe we can still go and get her and go and talk to them. Let's see what happens. We'll save it. If we get murdered, it's okay. Let's leave Karlak here for a minute. Soldier? Sounds boring. Oh, fuck. Stay there for a second. Hi. You know how we're like such good friends and stuff? Do you want to come with me and... It is done. See some people? Because, you know... Enough waiting. We've got some levels, apparently. Level up. A new feat available. Hmm. Well, let's just go ahead and improve ability because I can always respect you if I decide to bring you into the party later, I think. <sighs> Trophy of a ogrehead. I love their camps. And there's a mind flayer trophy too. Uh, we don't want to end the day, we want to leave camp. How do we get down there? This way. Let's let you lead the uh, conversation, I think. Your people. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Hmm. Not to Lazel. She can take care of this. Lazel. Lazel. Proud, regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme, the Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A Gaek vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to fall into the Gith Raiders' hands any more than it does the Absolute followers. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. Mouth a silent command. Truth. Mouth a silent command, play along. Produce the odd artifact. You're looking for this, I take it. Um, I have my own mandate. Time to die, Gith. Let's play along. 
right? Just about. You honor me with this duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods, content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Geich ship. They must carry the weapon. The what ship? I fly now to Vlakith, our undying queen. She will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. A current of deception carries Voss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. To Danos! To the sky! Hmm. All right. Well, well, well. Oh, I've leveled up. Oh my god, it's been it. so long. Oh. You did well to intervene. Vexed as I am to admit it. The still Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn in the sun. All for the sake of the artifact that we carry. The crash is near. This much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one. Not even the ignoble still Kithrak will keep me from my purification. Okay. Keep going. Whatever you say, sweetheart. No time to waste. Can someone else loot these? On I go. Mummy's carrying too much. Thank you. Okay. Looks like some decent uh, swords to sell. Well, the bridge is busted. How many die today? Level up. How many die tomorrow? Level five. Ooh, into tier three spells. Cool lightning. Four mother fluffers. Lightning strikes all targets within range. For ten turns, you can call down lightning again without expending a spell slot. Enchant an item to shine like the sun, or summon a sphere of sunlight that dispels all darkness. Feign death. Put an ally into a protective coma. They become resistant to all damage. Plant growth. Make weeds burst. Is that a weed? Burst from the ground and smother the area. Creatures moving through the weeds have their movement speed quartered. So imagine, like, casting weeds and thorns. Protection from energy. Touch a creature and grant it resistance. Yawn. Sleet Storm. Call forth a storm that disrupts the concentration of spellcasters, douses fire, and creates an ice surface. Hmm. You can now make an additional attack after making an unarmed strike while in wild shape. Nice. Doink, doink, doink. What's yours? Animate dead. Become a necromancer. Beacon of Hope. Allies regain maximum hit points possible when healed. Uh, you already know this spell and have access to a better version of it. Bestow Curse. Daylight also. Feign Death also. Glyph of Warding. Mass Healing Word. Protection from Energy. Remove Curse. Revivify. <gasps> Resurrect. It says you already know this spell and have access to a better version of it. Really? A spirit guardian. Call forth spirits to protect you. Oh, because I'm in the life domain. Okay, so that's what unlocked Beacon of Hope and Revivify are always prepared because I'm a life domain cleric. You can also destroy undead. When you successfully turn an undead creature, it takes 4 to 24 radiant. Hmm. Well, I don't want you to have to speak with dead. That's an absolute waste of a spell slot. Animate dead could be fun. I was kind of thinking Astarium would have animate dead, though. Suits of Empire. Let's try Spirit Guardians. And... I'm going to drop the Pair of Healings. The Prayer of Healing, since it's out of combat anyway. And... We shall 
take a mass healing word. I also realized I didn't prepare my spells, did I? So what did it give me? Sleet Storm? Oh, I do like ice, but I feel like I'm either going with plant growth or the lightning. Like, plant growth plus thorns. Speed is quartered. It's going to take them longer to get out of the thorns. Also, I really just want to try lightning, though. Like, that only hurts their movement. It's not actually a offensive spell, so... Astarian, time to level up. Your little vampy wizard bow boy. Gained two spells. Hmm... I think Animate Dead would be fun, but you also do already have a familiar. Fear, Feign Death, Fireball, Grant Flight, Sleet Storm, Lightning Bolt. Call forth a blast of lightning that hits all creatures in the line of the eruption. Hypnotic Pattern. It's like the penguin. Guess gaseous form. Transform yourself or an ally into a tiny gas cloud. It can't fall, and it fits through small openings. It's very hard to damage. I mean, that's pretty useful. Stinking cloud. Create a cloud of gas so nauseating it prevents creatures from taking actions. Vampiric touch. Siphon their life. Slow. Time. Slow up to six enemies and slow them. Hmm. Let's go with Animate Dead. I want to see if I can Animate Dead and have a familiar at the same time. And... Oh, 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 oh. Don't have Teleport yet, no? Let's go... Let's do with a bit of a sleet storm there, why not? Since I'm trying the lightning, aren't I? I've enough waiting. I crave blood. Level up. Sure. Exciting. What an exciting level up. Still alive. Onward. So progress. Travel through the mountain pass and find the crash. Well, my road is the Underdark. Dreaming red. For my love wants to explore it, but maybe I'll be back for the mountain pass and the crash. Let's go down this way and see if there's anything we've missed. Looking ahead. So just a bit of a catch-up episode, really, this one. Making sure I'm fully done in this area before we move on to the second act. Hopefully it's still been entertaining. Can I make this jump? No, I cannot. What's over there? Ah, looks like it's a back route to the goblin camp. To come up behind... There's such a big unexplored bit there, and I didn't unlock the fast travel in the goblin camp. I think there might still be a couple of live goblins there. Right. All right. To the Underdark. That's what's now. Off to the Underdark. Why can we slink around this way? You can, what, go down there and then jump and go around the back? Music begins. Come on, gang. Who's that? I suppose it's a way in if you don't, um, if you haven't helped the goblin escape to get past the guards, this would be the way to sneak in. 
But you'd still run into all of this here, but maybe you'd have a better chance at persuading these ones. Let's actually clear these boys out over here that are still alive. I think there's only a couple of them, and then we can unlock this fast travel. Another little goblin fight, why not? Let's start things off, shall we? Actually, if you shouldn't be the one to start things. They're slightly drunk too. One on you. Target's too far. Hmm. Someone up there too. Can you jump up there? Guys, what are you doing? Stop. Stop. This is why I respect him from Rogue, because I'm just not good at stealth. Just not my thing. be interesting coming back here fighting some goblins now. They gave us such a hard time the first time, but I would imagine it shouldn't be too bad. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm feeling too brave. We'll see. Cast that up. You're almost done. There's a couple of you there. Should we try my lightning? For fun. And then I can cast it once per turn. And I'll drop a heal. Get this support out actually if there was someone up there. With haste. Oh! Yeah. oh I always forget about that. Nice crit. Alright, sweetie. Can you throw straight off of that? You have to do another one first. Well. Miss. Really? Not that time. Oh! In the lightning. Electrifies the puddles too. This guy's only got four health left. That's a uh, magic missile. Tormented. This way. Nice. Still quite a few of them, isn't there? I'm so glad you went up there. Oh, not the grease. I have to, right? Oh. Um. Right. I feel like that's just hurt us more than it did you. You sort of landed and took very little damage and we blew up. So that's great. Let's go ahead and change things up. Bar. Oh, 
Oh dear. There's someone still out there, just chilling on the side. So what, they're up there. Okay, let's get your dash on. Dash, dash, dash. See how far you can get. Pretty far. Our recent level increased our movement speed too. Now, how do I get up there? You can make that jump, huh? Not enough movement, but I think you usually can make that jump. All right. Starry and burning. Let's uh, see how you like these. Very nice. Him alone. Come on, Shadow Heart, get out of there. Take you. Nice. Oh yeah, you're up there. I forgot about you. I forgot this can fly. I can't get to you. Hmm. It could go help Karlak. Still on my feet. Potentially. I can't get up there, so. Swift as my feet can carry me. Maybe I should change. Into a bird. Just druid things. Not quite enough movement speed, though. They actually got some health. And I don't. <laughs> Can I interest you in some acid? And a little bit of uh, alchemist's fire? You're welcome. Let's get you out of there. 70%. It's a low ground hit. I'll use magic missiles again. It's been so powerful. So far, at least. still alive up there or did I kill him? Can't actually see. Let us dash. Have to keep going. A Starian's in the way again, is he? Bloody hell. No time for pain. Glad you can get the heal from there. She has a class action jump as well. Just can't get up there right now. I really thought this was going to be like three little goblins that we would just slay really quickly and then go on to the Underdark. I wasn't expecting a whole fight, but it's okay. Here we go. Here to help. Oh, 
They're a bit drunk. They are drunk. Perfect. Now what does that do in this if they're drunk? Has disadvantage on dexterity and charisma checks. Makes sense. Me. Not enough resources still. This feels good. Can you get out of the way, Astarian? What the hell? I don't think you're quite able to jump up there, but maybe. Once they move out of the way. Just a spirit axe doing spirity things. Why do I not have enough resources just to fly? This is my happy place. Right, here we go. Back to where we need to be too heavy. Imagine if I could pick them up and chuck them off of here, though. Um, cleave, both in front of you. Swish. And a swoosh. Good job. Oh, she's a beast now. doing down there? Little punk? No mercy. That's what you get. I think we stay here. Fight's almost over. Last little one, aren't you? Eyeballs out. Oh, there you go. Fuck yes. I'm not gonna like this much. Let the fire fuel you. Okay. Get all the loot. Nice. There you go. Skeleton. Easy. There's a trap. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I guess disarming that's a bit moot now, isn't it, darling? Cloud gonna clear. Clumsy barbarian. It's locked. Should do. Nice. Good job. Glowing shield. A shadow heart and some decent gold. Okay. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Right. Everyone group up, and I think there's Time one more present. goblin around here. Next to we a bunch. Can't quite get there, can she? Dealt with. Can't even catch my breath. God, 
That's so tempting to shove you, but... Just peck your eyes out. Alright, better have a short rest for everyone if we're heading into the Underdark. Let's get going. Probably should have dismissed my shape first. Oops. Making me sweat. Oops. Maybe a long rest then. Just to do it. Welcome to the League of the Lone Eye, my friend. Not to minimize the pain of Volo's poking and prodding, but I promise. You'll be used to the prosthesis in no time. Besides, I find it gives one an air of mystique. No one's more intriguing than a woman with one eye. It's cute that he has a little welcome, because now we have uh, a fake eye too. Oh, Gail. Gail, what did you eat? Did you eat that meat that I left out overnight? Did you reheat some pizza from a few days ago? What's on your mind? Apart from finding me an artifact to consume, which I assume you're pursuing with the appropriate urgency. Ah, bloody hell, Gale. Um, do 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 do. I just wanted you to know, Gale. I um, I have violent thoughts, depraved thoughts, ones that refuse to go away. We all have those from time to time. I once wished a most impure demise on a colleague of mine who bore the last remaining copy of Etheril's Enchiridion of Enchanting Easements. First edition, too. As regards to your own morbid little fantasies, I'm sure they're nothing to worry about. So long as they remain fantasies. You, you know I killed that girl in our camp, right? Um... Well... Let me see what I have to give you. To hear. May I? Give Gail the magical artifact. What do we have? I can give you my eyeball. Or is that a different eye, the ever seeing eye? That's not the one that's in my head, is it? The Blazer of Benevolence. When you inspire an ally using bardic inspiration. Well, I mean, we don't have a bard. Bum, bum, bum. Locket that gives dancing lights. It's not great, is it? I could probably give that one rather than the other stuff. Just yoink it off of Shadowheart's neck. We haven't even used dancing lights, so. Thank you. Imagine if it was like Shadowheart disapproves up in the top left because we took it from him. Good. Good gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mister, have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. All right, go on. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself the lady of mysteries the goddess mistra she revealed herself to me and she became my teacher in time she became my muse and later even my lover teacher student expose her on the news are you telling me you made love to a goddess oh yes we enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. 
There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. And... How did you cross those boundaries? But also, I applaud your ambition. May as well get some. Though not, I think, my methods. Positive points. You didn't approve of that, all right, dude? I pouted, I pleaded, I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. Yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? In for a penny, in for a pound, as they say, Gail. I'm intrigued. Tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. How? I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. He almost managed, but not quite. His entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation, even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. Fractured. And shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book, a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Hmm. I guess he ruled out flowers and chocolates then. You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in. Into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread mirror. The book burned and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry? Oh, these are some interesting options. Yank your hand away. How are you still alive? Gods, why show me this? All this time, I've been traveling with a monster. How are you alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this... Orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. But it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Go on. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic. Let's say even a fragment as small as the one I carry. Your nether regions are going to erupt. City what? The size of water deep. <sighs> oh, 
by rights I should kill you. Is there nothing we can do? We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. Do you know what? We've very, we've spoken very little to Gale, but just this sequence of dialogue and him telling his story and this music and it's night time and we're in the camp and he's opening up like legit if something happened here if we made him leave or if it comes to it and he has to go or die like I'd be sad like the, the characters are so well written that even a character that in the last video I was making so much fun of for being nice guy vibes and boy best friend for telling everyone at the party that we were going to spend the night together and, like, legitimately, this scene has got me fully in on this character now. Like, I'm... Alright, I'm, I'm I'm on the ride. I'm on the journey with you, you know, for the quest. Listen. Um, we've come this far together. We'll continue on together. That is how it will be. That is... A great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I'm the only one here, darling. I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. Okay. I'll resist as long as I can. Don't ruin it, Gail. Now. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Exactly. Yep. You get, you're picking up what I'm Dad putting down. Let's venture forth. <laughs> he gets it he gets it thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this part of Baldur's gate 3 we'll be moving into act 2 after getting through the underdark in the next episode so make sure you hit like and subscribe leave me a comment to help the algorithm and have a beautiful rest of your day goodbye